Use the given conditions to write an equation of the line in point-slope form and slope-intercept form. Well, that means we need the slope between these two points. So the slope would be the difference between the y values. I could take 2 minus negative 3, in which case the 4 comes first for the difference between the x values. Plus an, a minus a negative becomes plus a positive to give me 5 over 5, or a slope of 1. Now using either of the original points, I'll use the first one. I can write this equation as y minus a negative 3 equals 1 times x minus a negative 1, each of which becomes plus a positive. So that my equation becomes y plus 3 equals x plus 1. And that would be my equation in slope-intercept form. I could leave the 1 out in front to show that the slope is 1 times x plus 1. Now what I want to do, though, is also express it in, um, sorry, that's point-slope form. So I also want slope-intercept form, which means solving for y. So if I have y plus 3 equals x plus 1, I can subtract 3 from both sides to get y equals x minus 2. And so y equals x minus 2 would be my slope-intercept form. Well, y plus 3 times the quantity 1 times x plus 1 would be my point-slope form of the same line.